name is Mike and I'm your host for how to create subclient install packages. We're going to go through a demonstration of how to create a subclient package. We're going to use the sub manager to do it. First we have to log in. We'll log in as an admin. We are currently using SEP 12 RU6 MP8 for the version that we have. We've already established some groups as test subjects for the creating a video and attaching them to that. So we click on administrator and we click install packages. Here's our pre-installed packages here. We also have client settings that are pre-installed and feature set settings. So the first thing we want to do is actually walk through creating client install settings. So we click client install settings we click add install settings we give this package uh, of install settings a name are we going to show and now we're going to walk down through the basic settings here are we going to show any activity whatsoever this is a decision you have to make We'll do it as silent. We're using the default installation folder, which will be on C drive. If you want a different folder for the installation, you can pick one. We're going to install an install standard size client. Now this question automatically uninstalls existing security software. This is okay to do, but reading the warning, the application will remove currently installed security software. Installation of the SEP client begins immediately after the software is removed. We should be enabling the installation logging in case something goes wrong we have the log in order to try to figure out what it was. We're going to uncheck letting, letting the computers automatically forward selected anonymous information to semantic and we'll add the program to Dominion. This is probably the biggest question we always get. Should we maintain all the logs policy and client server communication settings or remove everything about it and reset the client server communication settings. There's a certain logic to this. If I was working with an unmanaged client and I create an unmanaged client package, I would want to make sure that client had maintained its policies and everything else that was set up for it. So I'd keep to maintain the logs. If I select remove them, I'm assuming that I'm working with a managed client. I have created a package that's tied specifically to a certain group and that the package that I make will only be used for that group. Now what happens if you use that package on another group? Well the client will move to the new group which may not be a desirable thing to have happen. And an example of this would be a workstation package being applied to a server and the server policies 
are tailored just for servers and you just dropped a workstation package on it and now it's going to move into a group that has additional policies that have nothing to do with the server. This could substantially interfere with the function of your networking. So I would only select these, removing all this, if I'm sure that the package that I create is going to be used only on the group that I made. In this instance we're going to maintain our logs because we don't have a client. We're making a package to be used on workstations. We also have restart settings. We have a delayed restart, forced restart. We have four options here. It's important to understand that in a SEP12 client, what you see happening on the screen when you first start the installation is copying the files to the system in the appropriate places, making whatever changes that it can, but it is not interfering with the existing client at that point. It will not change that client until the reboot happens and the reboot manager takes over and finishes the SEP install. This is because certain drivers and filters have to be disengaged and replaced during the boot up. So in this instance it would be a forced restart. I want this to reboot so that the install actually finishes. When we want to restart you can put a time delay in but I'm going to say immediately because without actually rebooting the new client that I've created won't be installed until the machine reboots. That could be when the person who's using it shuts down for the day and starts in the morning. That's when the actual install will take place. Do we want to prompt for a reboot with a countdown? These are decisions that you have to make. I'm going to say no prompt. You can put your own message in here so that it uh, pops up in, in this countdown area and uh, other options are grayed out because we decided not to do any of these other choices up here. When we say OK, we have now a new client install setting. So we need the features to go with that. So we create a new one. making a version for 12.1 RU2 and later and we select which features that we want that to have. This is the default setup for just about everything. The only thing missing here is Outlook. We don't have Outlook on this system because it's a server so we're not going to do that. It's also may not necessarily need a firewall it should use intrusion prevention and advanced download prote protection and sonar. It may not need application and device control. What we're going to do is leave it as it is and save it. Now we have our feature sets. You can have any number of these. You can have them for workstations, for servers, for databases, just about anything you can think of. So now we're going to create a package. We go and select our package. This is a 64-bit system. And we see that it says 64. This is the one we want. We export the package. And we have to have a folder. I already made a folder on the desktop in order to hold my packages. And I go to the folder called install packages. Our package is going to be created and subfolders automatically underneath that based on the group that I select that it's going to go into. I want a single exe package. It's a default package of standard size. It is 
we're going to state best protection for servers and we can select the contents for that package. We want to include all the content in the package or not. The theory behind this is if we have a small amount of bandwidth we can make a smaller package that can get installed and then on boot up the client will connect to the set manager and pick up its definitions then. I'm just going to include all the content. Makes a slightly bigger package but that's okay. We're going to stay in computer mode and we're just going to pick test one. We are exporting a managed client specific to the group test one. And we're going to add the clients automatically to that selected group. We click OK and our package is being built. You should be logged in as an admin to the set manager when you create packages. You should have a pretty good theory on and a plan on how you create your packages and what specifically they're for. You should understand there's essentially no such thing in SEP as a generic install package. They all have to be tied to something. So what happens if you use or try to create a generic package and use it everywhere and you don't tie it to anything is tied to the company and they all fall into the default group in which you'll have to sort it out manually uh, to get them into the appropriate groups. We'll take a little time delay here and we're back. Our install package has been created and saved to the desktop in the folder that we wanted it to be in check the folder and we see that it is in the test group name we'll let you know where it was saved also tells us what version it is and it's an individual file at this point you would perform the install which would be pretty much like this I have already logged into this server this is also the set manager which it does need a package I've logged in as an administrator you have to be an administrator to install SEP or troubleshoot SEP so having done that I right click on this package and I run as an administrator once I see it come up which it's not going to because it's silent And it looks like it's going to give me notice anyway. It's not going to ask me any questions. It's all been prepared and it's a server package. As a server package it should not have to actually reboot the machine. It should be AV only. and we'll do a little time magic here package finished installation if we want to see what that package actually was we can go back into the set manager we can look at the install feature set for best protection for servers and we can edit that and we can see that only virus protection was selected for that We're doing an immediate live update. It is complete. And now, if we go into the tray, we have our client functioning, protecting this server. It's important to realize that a set manager does not protect itself. 
it has to have a client and we want to look at where this client is set up to go it's in company my company test one that concludes our video for today I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you watch more thank you for joining bye bye